What's up everyone? I'm Brandon and you're watching John Boat River Cats. All right, so you went out and bought a cast net and now you wanna know how to throw it. It's gonna come with like a strap like a little elastic strap and you're going to want to get rid of that because what's going to happen is you're going to throw this thing pretty far you're going to forget how long your rope is and then that strap is only literally stapled or stitched onto this rope and it'll, it'll it could pop right off and you lose your net and rope and everything so you're not going to loop it like that you're going to grab it and pull that loop around your main line all right you're going to gather you up some rope just like this and now i tie it on to here for the spillway that i go to it's got uh, you got to get pretty far out there to get it so i just tied that on there temporarily i'm gonna join those up correctly soon but you're just gonna gather rope all right you're gonna pick it up by what's called the horn this is the horn of the cast net and I pick it up and I get it untwisted and my net is in pretty rough shape here I've got some I've got some tears in it that I need to repair and literally probably just gonna throw it away because half of the bottom there is coming you know the ropes coming off the net so but what I do is I grab it about a foot down all right and you're just gonna let that that horn fall over on the outside there and the way I do it is I come up here and I find what's laying on the outside. All right, now what's laying on the outside here is that strand there. So I'm gonna come back here, grab it right here and follow that up. Now that's pretty close to the top of my net here. I'm gonna grab that and hold it with my right hand. I'm gonna come down here. You got two halves now. You got the inside half and you've got the outside half you're going to grab that inside and you're just going to drape it out like that all right then you're going to take it and when you throw you're going to hold this hand until you come around like that so when you when you come around 180 degrees and you line your arm and hand up right there that's when you will release your left hand or whichever hand you're holding that tag in all right, so when you throw, you're gonna swoop out and it's gonna open up. Now, with some of these, the harder the force you give, um, the more it's gonna open. And you'll see it when it goes out, it'll be spinning and rotating in your throw. All right, that's a good thing. That's keeping it, keeping it open. All right, and that's what this uh, swivel right here is for, so couple more times i'm gonna try to make this short and sweet because it's hot out here and i've been out in it all day i've been on a roof uh putting an ac unit in so i'm gonna grab that net foot down you're gonna find that outside all right that outside you're gonna trace it all the way down to the bottom so i know it's right here all right i straped up and my net's tangled all up because it's it's messed all up but <clears throat> it still catches shad so you're gonna like i said before you're gonna have two two halves when you're holding this up here in this hand you're gonna have one on the front and you're gonna have one towards you you're gonna grab that one towards you at the bottom whether it be a few inches from the bottom or at the very bottom i like to grab it a few inches from the bottom just so i can keep that kind of tight and the rest of that's just gonna swing down there and you want to make sure you give it a good spin and you want to throw kind of upwards all right when you do so swoop up let it go and spins keeps itself open so basically when you're holding that bottom piece in your left hand you're going to wait until that net kind of opens up and you get to throw it right here and that's going to help put spin on it you don't have to throw it you don't have to throw it to the side you just let go of it and the rotation itself that motion going around will give it that spin when you let that go but it's all about when you release it so again 
about a foot down. Grab the bottom. And you want to make sure you get as many of the tangles down there out as you can. It's going to tangle up sometimes. Grab it just like that. Put that in your right hand. If you're right handed. If you're left handed, it's just the opposite. Get the tangles out. Grab it down here. Pretty easy. And just releasing it. I didn't flick it. I just released it. Open the net right on up. Again, same ordeal. Uh, nets can go up to 150 bucks or more. Uh, uh, if you don't know the bottom of the the contour, uh, you know the type of bottom you're fishing. Or you're throwing your cast net into you don't know if there's sticks and rocks down there if you don't know that i don't suggest going out and buying a 150 dollars net and throwing it out there and come to find out you just ripped half your net in half and there goes 150 bucks um good nets are not cheap so to start out with man get you a go to ebay and this goes for everybody go to ebay get a cheap net um, learn how to throw it in your yard. Uh, there are gnats out here, man. What, what is a gnat? What is a gnat made for? Don't forget, if you like the content, slam that like button. Share the video with your friends and family. Cast a comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.